Hey everyone, this is Larry from WSTrades.com and I'm going to start a new series called uh, the Weekly Watch List where I basically just do what I do every Sunday anyways, but I'm going to record it and you guys can kind of follow along and um, kind of you'll see what I'm looking at either bearishly or bullishly going into the following week, things that are kind of uh, hitting my watch list. Uh, my custom scanners and stuff, which all of the custom scanners you can find over at WSTrades.com. But I typically on Sundays, like I say, I go through these watch lists when I get a couple minutes. And just to uh, see if anything, you know, piques my interest that, you know, I'm like, okay, this thing's about to either make a move higher or lower. So I'm definitely going to, you know, set an alert on this or just put it in a different watch list for the next week or, you know, even just put a, a little note in my phone or whatever to check out whatever when uh when the market opens on mondays so anyways we're going to start off um this is a custom watch list tab that i have open here and uh i might record a video on how to do this but there are a bunch of cool websites like uh hontech if you google that like hontech uh custom dashboard or tos indicators has a great one uh they have really good informational videos on how to set up your market watch tab with all this custom stuff and all this side where you see TTMW, TTMD, uh, four hour, one hour and 30 minute. This is all based off the TTM squeeze indicator. So it's telling me that, you know, on all of these, you can see that um, MMM, which is 3M, uh, fired short on the weekly just uh, yesterday or just one bar ago so yesterday um and it's not doing anything else it's not squeezing or uh fired anywhere else um but yeah so if you're trading like this right here t uh which i believe that's at and i'm not mistaken yeah that's at and t so they're always you know pretty low volatility so this thing's just squeezing on every time frame but the weekly uh but it's just good like quick information you can set this up any way you want um like i added these this is a custom uh trend line study that you can find over at uh what is that website uh use think script and just search for auto trend lines it's a indicator that works pretty well it's not it doesn't work well enough that i um i keep it set up on my charts anymore but it it will automatically draw out trend lines on uh, whatever ticker you're looking at so like I say, it works pretty well, but just not enough that I'm uh, super confident in it. I can draw, you know, draw my trend lines quick enough that I don't really need it. Uh, so I made that off of that indicator. This I made off of uh, the indicator and the label that we have, again, over at WSTrades.com that I wrote this code. And this is for uh, stacked exponential moving averages. So in this scanner, the 21 EMA bearish, which again, go over to the website, you can download this. This will only pick up tickers that the EMAs are stacked in a bearish manner. And if you don't know what that is, um, we've got some videos on it, but it just means that the uh, exponential moving averages, the eight, um, God, how many are there? 8, 21, 55, and crap i can't think of it but it, they're stacked in a bearish manner so uh the 55 is above the 21 the 21 is above the 8 so it just symbolizes a you know with those averages stacked like that it's in a downtrend so <clears throat> that's why i have that set up like that another really important one for me when i'm doing any of these when i'm looking at my market watch tab which i always do is the percentage change because like I'll run through all of these watch lists that I have and you know I have a, a couple favorites so I don't run through all of the ones that you can download download on the website but if something's up like I oh, wish something that made a really big move actually none of these have made a huge move so uh you know I might stay away from this one right here SFIX because it was up almost four percent um, I'll, I'll kind of look at the percentage change and only trade things. Typically, I'll, you know, I'll look at the chart and see if uh, what it's telling me, but typically things that have made a smaller move so that I know that um, another criteria for this 21 EMA is it's trading 
in the bearish uh, version, it's trading below the 21 exponential moving average. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, typically I, I like to trade things that haven't made a massive move because a lot of times if something does make a massive move, it gives it all back. You know, if it made a mu um, big move higher, you know, you'll see it within that following week, just give all those gains back or just kind of consolidate and I'm looking for uh, more breakout plays than consolidation. Um, if I am looking at consolidation trades, then, you know, I'll run a different scanner and, you know, typically be trading iron condors on that. But anyways, let's run through this. I'll run through a couple of scanners, uh, pull up some charts and see what I'm looking at. Uh, right now, like I say, I've got the 21 EMA bearish scanner that these tickers all pulled up on. And I you know the way I trade, I'll just click through on, you know, like this LVS. I've been looking at them for a while and they did make a move higher, almost 2%. So, you know, pull up the chart and see what I'm, you know, what I'm working with. And right now you can see it made this big move lower. And I think a lot of casino uh, stocks did last week because I want to say it was Macau is making some super strict regulations so a lot of uh like really mgm made a fat move down also um so yeah anyways i'm looking at the chart i'm seeing that they had a nice support level at this like 36.53 so i'm probably not going to trade this short term it's probably going to make a move higher fill this gap come back up to this 21 then longer term uh we'll have a bit of a sell-off you zoom out here yeah, it came down and hit support nicely. So, you know, short term, we might see a move up, but longer term, as you can see, this thing's just in, been in a fat downtrend. We had a little bit of a rally here uh, last month, but then, you know, that news on the regulations came out and this sucker just gapped down, but it did find nice support. It didn't break through that. So um, a lot of times too, if I see something on a chart like this, where you had that fat gap down and it came right to support and couldn't break through it, then I will just right click. I will go to add a drawing. I'll go to price level and then just draw a price level at, you know, whatever that support level is. And then, you know, we'll call it the bottom of this wick and that hits the bottom of the body over here. And then with uh, thinkorswim, I'll right click it and where is the uh, create alert? So you create alert on it and wait, is that off of this? What the heck is going on here? Okay, I was on the wrong thing. I'm a dummy, you guys probably saw it in the video. So you go to uh, create alert with drawing and you can do this on trend lines, you can do it on uh, fib, uh, retracement levels, extensions, you know, whatever, anything that you can, any drawing tool that you can use on uh, thinkorswim, you can create an alert with it. So and you'll right click it, create alert. And then now I'm telling it to let me know if this, uh, if the price action drops below this, uh, pr price level that I just drew. So you, know, you can add a name and what is this LVS? And we're looking, if it breaks below that level, definitely going to be a bearish play. So We'll just type in, I'm going to call this go short. That happen? Okay, go short. So now you see, uh, once you click create, it's going to say notify me, and you can change these notification settings. Um, if you're in the desktop application, it's going to send an alert right here and ding and say, you know, go short because LVS uh, dropped below your price level um, and it's also mobile if you're out and about it'll send the notification to your phone so you can you know look into it see if it's something you're actually going to go short on or you know you just type in bearish if you're you know planning on if you don't want to short the stock itself and you know you know that it's you know time to either buy puts sell calls you know whatever your bearish strategy is so you click create and boom you've got the alert set that as soon as the price drops below this level uh, you're going to be notified about it. So that's one of the great things. That's why I love Thinkorswim. It's just so versatile. Um, 
and we'll just continue and go back to the market watch tab and I'll oh, Baba oh my god these guys have the sloppiest chart I'm gonna zoom out see I've already got a, a trend line drawn on that I had from you know way back when don't think it's gonna be touching that anytime soon if it does oh my god Baba's in trouble but yeah their chart is so sloppy with these gaps like every other day is just gapping up or down so let's zoom in see what's going on uh, all right well you see once again they hit this low it's this price level right here um the low was uh 152.80 and you see just about came down and touched that uh on uh what is this thursday yeah because we're on the daily chart so thursday it came down almost touched it and then made a move higher so i don't know same thing kind of with um las vegas sands this one might make a temporary move higher i'd anticipate maybe hitting this like 14 at 165 uh it might make it all the way up to about almost 170 but overall you know this thing's in a fat downtrend so you know it, until it can stop making lower highs then you know it's going to continue to fall but i will say it's you know instead of making this lower low that you can see here you know stopped here made a rally up stopped here made a rally up stopped here so it's making lower lows every time that's why i drew that trend line it did kind of level out for now at least so uh like i said temporarily i'd be looking at this to make a small move up <clears throat> excuse me and then more than likely just keep on selling off so uh yeah still overall bearish on baba but they may have a nice little pump coming up um in the very short term so like in the next week but it's just so bearish to me i'm i probably wouldn't take that trade for that short term uptrend for next week and so we'll just keep on doing it so iau this man this sucks this is on my all of my bearish scanners because i am actually long iau which is gold and every gold stock sold off I had this fat gap down last week and then just a doji it just died off and didn't move at all on friday so i'd like to see this thing make a move higher as you can see this label that you can get over on the website the emas are stacked uh bearishly but they are really tight uh it did kind of expand after that gap down going into last week but I, yeah it's, it's in order to flip these things it's gonna have to make a fat move higher and it, it's just weird i don't understand why with you know all this inflation talk and uh all the uncertainty still in the market no one is rushing to gold so i don't know i'll keep an eye on it but i'm not giving up my iau position i'm gonna do some diamonds ha diamond hands on that um when this is another um oh god um god casino stock god I can think um that sold off after that macau information and they didn't make a move back up so you know they're in even worse shape than las vegas sands in my opinion so yeah that news came out fat gap down you know selling off even more another gap down and looks like it may have found you know somewhat of a bottom uh yeah i'm just gonna keep an eye on this and zoom out and see if this is a low for them yeah this is kind of uncharted territory for them uh short term so you know with this these two massive gaps i could see it trying to cover one of them but yeah with just a massive gap all through any sort of support for sure bearish on win but you know with these fat gaps typically you're going to see them try and uh close one of these gaps at least and come back to some sort of support so i could see like short term maybe coming back to around 87 88 um they may close this gap i don't think they will it's just you know they just blew through any sort of support so sellers were just jumping all over this thing and even on friday uh crushed this thing even more which you know las vegas sands is in a lot better position uh technically trading wise so yeah bearish on win probably not going to do any sort of trade on them uh because you know being a technical trader and them just smashing through any sort of support level i it's kind of hard to tell which direction traders are going to try and shoot that thing too so 
probably going to stay away from Wynn in this upcoming week and just kind of see where this thing settles out. Uh, Verizon, I don't like trading Verizon in general because they're pretty low volatility. They don't make massive moves very often, so I'm not going to pull that up. Uh, let's see another one. DLTR made a very small move up. Oh, yeah, they had that crazy sell-off for um, the earnings this year. And, again, this is, you know, consolidating like crazy. Beautiful Iron Connors would have been freaking great here. Uh, then you had a nice sell or nice rally going into earnings. And I don't know what their earnings said, but, my God, look at this sell-off. Just got crushed and just a continuation of a sell-off. So let's zoom in. Yeah, I'm I'm not touching this one. I this is just disgusting. It's trying to make a rally up. You know, you see this doji where buyers tried to shoot this price up and up to about ninety uh ninety fifty and sellers just crushed it again. So for sure bearish on uh Dollar Tree. I might see what selling a call or call spread at like the ninety three fifty level if there are options at that. I don't know, this thing might have five wides. It's a little higher priced. Oh, well, they got weekly, so you know, let's just say we go out to twelve days to expiration. Uh what did I say? Ninety five? Check the chart again. And you see it's kind of it couldn't break through this uh, about ninety three fifty. Alright, ninety three fifty level, so I'd feel comfortable, especially after that sell off, selling calls above this somewhere. So let's see, like 93, maybe 90, whoop, 93, 94 level uh, calls. 93, yeah, 37 bucks. And the vertical, eh. It's the delta on that. Delta of 16. Yeah, so they're not anticipating this thing getting anywhere near that. So it's not really going to pay well. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm probably going to stay away from that one because I'm not sure they might make a rally up to that. Uh, a lot of times when I'm doing verticals, I'll sell very close to the money options and just anticipating the move you know lower but in this case where i could see them you know making a move up to this level and it's not paying crap to sell it at that level uh calls at that level then you know i'd, I'd not even get into that trade um I'll keep on going down see why they had a very small move up but they are bullish. This thing, man, squeezing for 18 uh, bars on the weekly. And it's not squeezing on anything but the one hour. We'll go to the chart. Best Buy. I'm going to zoom out so we can see a little bit more. This thing makes some pretty wild swings. Um, yeah, we've got a nice price level at about 107 that we can see. Uh, you can see that the Keltner channels here are both pointed down downtrend uh barely stacked EMA so yeah i could see best buy in the upcoming weeks it's not like super oversold so i could see best buy coming down and hitting about this 107 level going into next week before trying to reverse as it has uh yeah it's come down to this level quite a few times and then made a nice move higher so i don't know we stopped at 108, about 108.50 last time so it didn't come down to that price level before uh, so it might be done so I yeah I'd actually you know I'm going to set a price alert like I do go to add drawing price level I'll go down to here because as you can see with this candle it didn't make it down to uh, where these other candles have made it before so it's you know kind of making higher lows uh not quite so anyways i'm gonna set a price level right there right click create an alert and this is i don't know if we'll say go short again and it's again price level crosses below that i'm gonna create now it's gonna let me know if it crosses below that level and then i'm thinking it man it's it would possibly find some sort of support at like the 107 level but uh it's been trying to beat 
get beaten down through that before uh, several times, so it might actually make a fat move lower. But yeah, anyways, got my price alert set. Uh, actually, real quickly, so this video is not too long, I'm going to go through some of my uh, bearish scanners or my bullish scanners, see if there's anything bullish. And this, again, all of these you can find over on the website, or most of them. Some of them are just kind of my screwing around stuff. Uh, this is the WST MTM bullish scanner, and we have Bax, which isn't squeezing on or fired on any time frame. And it made a little small move. I think they've been making quite a rally, though. Let's check it out. Yeah, Bax has been on a fat run up. Zoom out a little bit. God, these guys are wild. Um, yeah, right now I would anticipate this thing making a move lower. But if they do make a move higher, you know, as you can see this, let me zoom in. Tried to break through this level several times, which is about 89 but or, uh, sorry, $84. So this is another one where I'm looking for these breakout plays. I'm not really looking for these smaller moves. Uh, if I am, then I'm just... You know, I'll go into any of the indexes or basically any stock that doesn't make uh, big moves and sell like uh, 20, 30 Delta iron condors on stuff. But for, you know, what I'm looking at right now, I'm looking for breakout moves that are going to make a, you know, a nice move higher. So I can just, you know, either buy an option, a put or a call or just go long shares. Like in this inst instance, I would probably either just go long shares or buy a deep in the money call. Or, you know, you could sell the at the money puts. It's, you know, it's just whatever your trading style is. So, again, we're going to add a drawing. Come on. Price level. It's right there. Hasn't been able to make it above that 84. So, we'll just click here. Boom. And once again, getting repetitive. Alert. Let's say go long. Boom. So. I like Baxter to make a move if they can cross above that $84 level. You know, it, that's probably going to start acting like uh, support for them. So I feel comfortable selling puts if this thing can break through and close. Like, you got to have confirmation. So you can even wait for, you know, several candles that this is acting like support before selling that. Because, you know, you can, you know, blow yourself up really quick if you don't, don't wait for confirmation. I did it with uh, AMC. So I'm going to pull that up. I got, I screwed myself on AMC by not waiting for confirmation. So I made 10% uh, on my last trade on AMC, and this that was this rally right here. And I thought, okay, you know they're gonna sell off. So I put in a um, a stop that you know if they hit this level again to go long because I thought, okay, this thing's gonna hit this level and then start pumping higher and it didn't and I stupidly I uh, didn't set my stop or I set my stop but I didn't make it good to cancel so it ended up uh, canceling the next day and then we had a fat sell-off and you know continue to sell off so I think instead of being up 10% and if my stop would have been in place I still would have been profitable on my uh, AMC trade overall with the two trades I, but instead of 10% it was going to be I believe 3% uh, profit, but you know, I was fine with that. I knew I was jumping in without waiting for confirmation, so it's just kind of a gamble, especially with you know one of these meme stocks. And uh, so right now, I believe, man, I don't remember if I'm up or down. But if you guys listen to the podcast or you know one of these update videos on AMC specifically, I'll let you know. But pretty sure I'm down like two percent on the trade now. Um, it, oh, but this is something I wanted to point out before we go, and then I'll take off and leave you guys to it weekly so i made a post on the page about this i pulled up the weekly chart on amc and you guys better watch out all you apes this is a nasty bullish engulf candle on uh, the weekly chart of amc so that's really bad news and you know typically if this wasn't a you know quote unquote meme stock where you know technical analysis really doesn't mean anything because they're just buying it up no matter what I mean, these guys could say they're going to go bankrupt in a month and you're still going to have a bunch of Reddit dudes just buying the crap out of this thing for no reason. But so, technically trading, this is a really bad sign and you're probably looking at a fat sell-off. It, 
it should. I don't know if it will, like I say, with you know everyone just buying it for no reason. But yeah, just keep an eye on that because you might have actual you know investors that see this and just liquidate any of their positions. So it was a really bad sign for AMC. Uh, I'd like to see them make a rally because with my stop uh, not being in place, I'm still long. Um, definitely going to set a stop somewhere really tight on this thing so I don't lose too much money on the trade. But yeah, really bad sign for AMC. Um, is there anything else I was going to go over? Market watch. Yeah, that was basically, um, I know this went a, bit, a little bit long, but I was just showing you, you know, how I trade and uh, next week I'm going to have kind of tickers that I pull up through my scanners so I don't have to kind of go through what I do every week because, you know, this video is getting pretty long. Don't need to put you guys through that. But also, uh, in the comments, because this is going to be an every Sunday thing, if you guys have certain tickers that you'd like to know, you know, going forward in the week, uh, what, you know, I'm looking at, what the technicals of it are that I see, then, you know, leave all, you know, whatever ticker it is in the comments, and I'll make a specific watch list for, you know, YouTube comments, and just run through that as well. So, anyways... Have a good rest of your Sunday, y'all, and hopefully we can make some money on uh, Monday.